recursive best first search, which is again a variation of best first search. So here uh, the name suggests recursive. It doesn't mean that it is uh, just opposite of best first search. No, it is not the opposite of best first search. It will work as a standard best first search. Along with that, there are some other property that has to be followed. So what will happen here in this particular uh, algorithm? Let's see it and uh, let's try to understand. So in recursive best first search is a simple recursive algorithm. Here recursive means it is a it is a recursive algorithm or recursive function will use in this particular search, okay? It is not reverse of it, it is recursive. Recursive, you all know that, what do you mean by recursive? Recursive means a function calling to itself. So a function calling to itself means one problem is there, will start with a big problem, will go into a smaller problem and will solve the smaller problem first and then will reach to the big problem again so recursive algorithm works on that particular category now here this best first search is using the recursive algorithm it means that we have a bigger problem means we have our environment will divide the environment is into a smaller environment and will try to solve the smaller problem first and that will lead us to the bigger problem that is the idea behind recursive algorithm here now it is saying that recursive best for search is a simple recursive algorithm that attempt to mimic the operation of a standard best first search. So best first search will use, but will use in a recursive way, right? But is using a linear space here. We'll talk about this. What do you mean by linear space? Its a structure is simple to that of recursive depth first search. The structure is simple. How it is simple? It is just simple as depth first search, but in a recursive way. But rather than continuing uh, indefinite down to the current path, it uses f limit variable to keep track of the f value of the best alternative path available from any ancestor to the current node. See, what it is saying, it is using the depth first search. In the depth first search, what will happen? We, we choose that node which has the least uh, heuristic uh, evolution function value okay we'll choose that node to explore here also we'll we'll do the same thing we what we do is we'll make a, a value and based on that value we'll choose uh, the node to explore but apart from that we'll use a value a limit variable which is called f limit variable f limit means this is actually the limit of the uh, of the cost beyond that we don't want to go so what it will do is it will limit our depth so depth could be limited let's say i am going to a, a path it is not leading me towards my goal right so how i know that it is not taking me towards my goal based on some value right so that value is nothing but f limit variable value here or f value here in this particular algorithm. How we'll get that particular f value? We'll get that f value based on the best alternative path. Let's say I am in the cheapest part and after that, what is the best path? So that best path value is, is becoming the f value here. Okay, that is one thing. If current node exceed its limit, let's say we are in the current node and the current node uh, that uh, the heuristic uh, um, evolution function cost is more than the F value that is already decided. So we'll not go there. Instead, what we do is we do recursive unwinding back to the alternative and we'll come back. So it is a backtracking type of thing because we will we'll not go or to explore that path which is giving us the more cost. Instead, we'll go back and we'll 
explore alternative path to reach our goal this is the objective of this particular algorithm as the recursive unwinds recursive unwind means means we'll go back again and we'll find out the alternative path uh, whose value is the f value and then that particular node we are going to explore so in recursive best for search replaces the f value of each node along the path with the backed up value the best f value of its children so what is the backup value here now this f value is this f value or the f limit value is going to change when we do recursive unwinding means we'll go back if we'll go back definitely we are choosing the alternative path as the current path so we have to choose another alternative path and that path f value we have to give to the f value so that f value we we are going to change and uh, that will become our backup value and that particular value is nothing but the f value that we have in this way in this way uh this uh, recursive best for search remembers the f value of the best leaf in the forgotten sub tree and can therefore decide whether it's worth re expanding the sub tree at some later time now based on this f value uh maybe later on the sub tree that we have leave for expanding maybe expanded afterwards when this f value get increased are you getting it let's say we are in a path and that that particular path we are not exploring why we are not exploring exploring because my limit cost is that but whatever i am exploring is beyond my limit cost so i'll go back once i am going back my f value is getting increase and later on maybe later on this particular path which i have left for exploring maybe that path i can explore right now because my limit cost has been increased okay that is what this last sentence is saying so for that we'll take one example and try to understand with that particular example here this is a algorithm for that particular recursive best for search here we use the function recursive best for search the uh, the problem that we are taking here for that particular function and we are returning the solution or the failure either i'll get the solution or i'll get the failure what we are returning return it again a recursive best for search with the problem there we have the make node it is actually calling itself the recursive best for search is calling itself so we are having the bigger problem along with that we'll take the load and the f limit here that is a function for that uh, this rbfs and this particular is returning solution or failure and a new f cost limit so here what we are doing is either it will be a solution or failure if there is a failure then it will have another f cost limit so there is new f cost limits that that will be added here so once we are failed to explore any path we'll increase the f cost and we'll try to uh, uh, try to execute this particular function again and again okay that is a work of it so we'll not go into the detail of it instead if we'll go to the example that detail will be uh actually uh, we can understand all all these things which are there in the algorithm so once we'll go to the algorithm and after going to the uh, sorry once we'll go to the example after going to the example we'll again come back to the algorithm and try to understand what that algorithm is saying let's go to the example you can you all can able to see that okay this is your uh Uh, this is your example right it is a traditional example that we have seen till now what that example says that example says that there are different cities 
Uh, there are some cost of the edges, right? Means uh, from one city to another city, if we are moving, what is the cost, right? So here, Arad is a uh, initial node or initial city, and we have to go to the Bucharest, which is my goal city, right? So from the initial city, I want to reach to the Bucharest. This is my problem. That problem we are going to solve with the recursive best for search means we are going to reach the goal with the help of recursive best for search. Now, along with that, we have some heuristic value because it is a heuristic based search algorithm. Okay, so we have some heuristic value. Uh, the heuristic value says these all these value are nothing but and the let's say the straight line distance between between the initial bit between the node and the goal node so any of the node and up to the goal node what could be the cost what could be the cost that is written here in a heuristic way okay that is there in your book we are not calculating it it is there in the book so if you see from Arad to the Bucharest, it is saying that you might, the cost will be 366, okay? It is not the exact cost. It is less than or equal to the exact cost, okay? How we reach the Bucharest, we'll get the, to reach the Bucharest with zero cost because we get the goal. Uh, in the same way, uh, from this city, uh, where is this city is, uh, yeah this is a city from this city to the bucharest what is the cost so it is saying 160 again from this city to bucharest again so what it is doing is it is saying that from that particular city to reach the bucharest what should be the cost okay that is the heuristic value so here is the path cost here is the heuristic value now let's go further let's take the example let's say we have explored from here I am in the initial state and I have explored my uh, current three cities. So what is my current three city? One is Zerand, another is Subui, another is Tima Sierra. Okay. So these three are the city along with the Arad. So from the Arad, we have Subui, we have Tima uh, Sora, Soara and we have Zerand, right? What this value is here, it is saying the value and that value is nothing but your A star value. But let's again go to this particular uh, example. So what is there in the example? In the example, we have our traditional uh, example uh, where there are cities and there are costs in between the cities, how we can reach in between the cities. And this is your traditional example what is uh, the, the problem here the problem is from the initial uh, node or from the initial city how we can reach our goal city initial city is arat we have to reach to the bucharest okay this is the thing that we have to do this particular value is nothing but the heuristic value heuristic value means from that particular node to reach the goal node what should be the cost okay so that cost is heuristic value. We know how we can find out the heuristics from here. Now, let's start with the example. So in the first, uh, in the first tree, what it is exploring is it exploring that expand Arad. So we are expanding Arad. Once we are expanding Arad, it is the the frontier node will be Sibui. Tima, Suara, and the Ziran, because these three cities are the neighbor city of Arad, right? And it is saying that expand Sibui. What? Why it is expanding Sibui? Because uh, the value, which is your uh, the value of the heuristic plus the cost, heuristic plus the cost, which we use in the A star algorithm. So it is three fifty nine. How we'll get three fifty nine? 
this particular cost means from arad to the suboi what is the cost arad from the suboi it is 140 140 plus what is the what is the heuristic of uh, suboi so what is the heuristic of suboi it is 253 so 253 plus 140 will become 393 in the same way we are getting for uh, tima seara and for, we are getting for zen right now uh, if we'll see this, so who is having the least cost? The least cost will be with Sibui. That's why the Sibui has been explored. Now, once we explore the Sibui, uh, we'll again get the how many? Four cities. So from the Sibui, either I can go to uh, Fagaras or uh, Rimiku, uh, Vilaka, and uh, or this particular city or arad again okay so from from this particular node how we can reach to another node that is there so we can reach again and again four cities so these values are there and from these value which is having the least value so it is it is calculating as 413 how we'll get 413 the cost from here to here the cost from here to here plus the heuristic of this particular city okay after that expanding this particular city we are getting again three cities and these are the or you can say a star score of these values a star score means the path cost plus the heuristic of it right 